Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to this 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and we bless you for the word you give us tonight, for this light you put in our life. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, that we may gain understanding and wisdom of heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. He said to Jesus, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the man heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For humans it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers, we are in front today of a shocking word which is even more shocking if we compare this word, this gospel, with the first reading, which speaks about wisdom, which tells us about Solomon who gained the wisdom of heart and understanding. And so these two things that just don't normally, you know, first reading and gospel, they go together in the lecture. They shed light to each other. They are connected. But here we have a gospel which is totally counterintuitive, where Jesus says things that are not immediately understandable. And without having to go all through, just to give a little sketch of it, first he says, no one is good but God alone. Why do you call me good? That's already kind of an initial, very difficult answer that this poor man who is going to ask good questions to Jesus, is receives. But then even more, even more, after this man says, I have kept all the commandments since my youth. Seems like a very good man. He's done really a lot. Jesus looks at him and says, you lack only one thing. Something simple. Just go, sell everything. Give it to the poor, then come back and follow me. And of course, this man is taken aback. And he goes away sad because he has many possessions. Does Jesus give a wise advice to this man? Judging according to our categories, not so much. It's normally not so wise to sell everything we have and just to become completely poor without having anything to, you know, to back us up just in case something happens. That's not what you call normally wisdom. And yet, and yet, this comes from God. The same God who tells us in the psalm that we read in the reading of today, teach us to count our days and we will gain wisdom of heart. That's a very important verse, a clue to tell us what is wisdom in front of God. Because our wisdom, for brothers and sisters, do not consider sometimes things that are very important. It's a wisdom which is just stuck to this world without considering that this world is temporary that our presence in this world is very short, that our desires go far beyond this world, 
that our desires and our needs, when are just concentrated in this world, they will never be satisfied. Never. It's impossible. Teach us to count our days. Ta teach us, O oh Lord, to know how frail we are. And we know that, but normally we don't want to think. And in this way, we'll gain wisdom of our. We'll know what is really good. We'll know what is really important. And we'll have the strength to put it into practice. Yes, if we look in this way at this situation, it might change our perspective. Why are, why are we in this world? What is that we desire more than everything? God has made us to love and to be loved infinitely. That's what our hearts desire. And God is telling us here, Christ is telling us here, what is the way to gain that. It's only true faith to real faith that we gain real wisdom. Now, if I were to ask you a question like this, let's put it in the perspective of this world. Now, in this world, I, need, I know I need in this world, I need money to survive. The more I have, normally the better I get by. At least in a material sense. So if someone had to tell me, you know, you have worked hard for this time, you have some money put aside, but your money is very little, it's gonna go very shortly unless you invest it. And I propose this investment. I know a bank, very, very trustworthy, that you know, if you invest all your money, the money you have now, you invest it, it's going to give you hundredfold your investment very shortly, and it's going to pay you back through all your life until you die. It would be a wise thing to do, this investment. You know, if we are good businessmen, probably it would. We would just have to inquire about the trustworthiness of this bank. But if I bring you a lot of witnesses that tell you, yes, that's true, that bank is very reliable, then, you know, why should I... You know, should I just not do it when this would just set me up for all my life? Now, translated in uh, our uh, own reading today, Jesus is telling this man, as he tells all of us, you know, you have a little bit of love in this life, a little bit of time to love, no much. Your love is very little. Yes, no matter how much we love, is, is, is never infinite. Yet, you know, uh, I know a bank. I know a very big bank, which is my father. My father's bank, if you give the little love you have, if you give all of it to him, will give you back, not hundredfold, infinite love. And not only for this life, forever and ever and ever. Would you think that this is a wise investment to do? Because that's exactly what Jesus is saying to this man. What you have in this life is meant to be used to love. Money, for instance. It's a great thing when we use it to do something, an act of love. No matter how much is it, little, much, doesn't matter. So I give you the chance to give something of you your time, your life, your money, to love someone. That little act of love that you are going to make is going to pay back infinitely in the bank of my father. Are you willing to do that? Now, if you put it in this way, we realize right away that our problem is not that Jesus is giving a strange suggestion which is crazy or this too much. Our problem is that we do not trust him enough to do something like that. Our problem in the end is faith. That in the end you say, I don't know. I don't know. I prefer to set myself up in this world rather than trusting in something else fully. That's our problem, brothers and sisters. And that's why true wisdom, true wisdom cannot be separated from faith. Real faith in, the, in God. And this man who is able to, to obey all the commandments, as many men, many good people in the world do. I mean, maybe they, 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 
they, they kind of slide here and there, but you know, they're pretty good men. They obey the commandments, the laws, everything. And yet, there is something missing in our heart, in their heart. The something that is missing is always that love we're looking for, that only God can give. But in order to this, do this, we need to enlarge our heart by trusting the only one who has the bank of love, which is the Father in heaven. This man is not able to do it and he goes away sad. Our sadness sometimes is that is, God, is given only by one thing, that we do not trust and love enough our Father in heaven. It's not easy, eh? Jesus says, it's impossible for humans, for God is possible. Do we give him the chance? Are we willing to give God the chance to enlarge our heart and our will so much that maybe today, that maybe tomorrow, we can make this act of full trust in Him, of full love with everything we have, everything, material, spiritual, physical, time, whatever, but just put ourselves fully into it and say, yes, you know, God, I believe, I believe that the only thing that makes me happy is you. Therefore, I put all myself in you. Stop compromising. Stop trying to keep everything okay because you never know. Because that in the end kills us. The only way we have is to have, live a life of faith in the one who loves us fully. So this is real wisdom. This is the wisdom that God wants to give us today. Let us ask for it without fear. God knows we are weak. It's true. But he has power. If we believe really, he has power to make of us real saints for this world today. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks and we bless you for this world that challenges us, that really goes to the depth of our heart. Help us. Increase our faith. We ask all this through the intercession of our Mother in Heaven. Send your Holy Spirit and your angels to help us. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.